Continuing with the CrossFit topic. Now, I've worked with athletes from 28 different sports. I've worked with, I'm probably the only coach who has worked with CrossFit Games competitors and Mr. Olympia competitors. So, so that's, I have a pretty unique perspective because I know the difference between all of these athletes, the way they train, the way they think, and all that stuff. Now, CrossFit oftentimes gets a bad rap, especially from bodybuilders. Powerlifters are starting to accept it a bit more because powerlifters are performance-based. And they respect anybody who does training to improve their performance, especially barbell lifting performance. And they know that CrossFit athletes value the deadlift, they value the squat, they value to some extent form of pressing. And some of them are posting pretty awesome numbers. I mean, I've worked with two CrossFit guys who are deadlifting over 600 pounds at a body weight of about 200, which is not bad considering all the energy system work they're doing. So, so power lifters are, are, have grown to respect CrossFitters, especially since CrossFitters are not afraid to ask power lifters for help on their big lifts. I've known several CrossFit athletes who went on to ask top level power lifters for help on improving their deadlift or squat. I've known CrossFit athletes who've done the same with Olympic weightlifters on ways to improve their snatch, clean and jerk. I've known CrossFit athletes who've went to strongman competitors for help on Atlas stone lifting, log lifting, all that stuff. So because of that, there's a relationship that's been building about around these two types of athletes. But bodybuilders, I think, still have a very negative opinion of, of CrossFitters. But it might be because it goes the other way around too. Maybe CrossFitters, they make fun of bodybuilders. I mean, we don't use machine, we are the machine, stuff like that. So, but in reality, Bodybuilders can learn a lot from CrossFit athletes. And CrossFit athletes can learn a lot from bodybuilders too, which we're gonna be covering in the next capsule. Now, one thing that bodybuilders can learn from CrossFit individual is hard work. Now, don't jump at me bodybuilding guys, all right? Yeah, you work hard. I, I like training bodybuilding style. That that's how I train. I also train CrossFit. And trust me, it's night and day difference between the uh, training intensity. So the, th the fact is, especially in modern bodybuilding, I'm not talking about the highest level, people who know what is required to reach the top. I'm talking about those who are training in gym, bodybuilding style, trying to build their body. I mean, recently I started training in a commercial gym again. And honestly, I mean, all these guys are training to build a bodybuilding type physique. And all of them train like pussies, honestly, honest. Maybe 5% of them train hard enough to establish some form of progression muscle-wise. If there's one thing they can learn from CrossFit individual is training hard, training balls out. In fact, oftentimes CrossFit athletes train too hard, but that's another topic. But those who want aesthetic physique, oftentimes they're afraid of putting the work on the big compound movement. Deadlift, squat, front squat, push press, military presses, the big basics. Yes, you can build some muscle focusing on isolation and pump work, but if you don't establish a base in strength first, then that won't be effective. People say, well, that body, well, John Meadows just did 28 reps with 400 pounds on the squat. So I'm gonna do sets of 20 on squat. Yeah, but you're using 95 pounds. He's using 400 because he has the basics of strength. My friend Paul Carter, great physique, trains more for pump now. But for most of his career, he built his size and strength through powerlifting, hardcore, heavy lifting. So CrossFit athletes are looking more toward those big compound movement and trying to get better at them. So the first thing that bodybuilders can learn from CrossFit individual is training all out, making amazing effort. Second thing is focusing on quality. I know that 
people will jump. Yeah, Christian, have you seen like these wads or skipping pull-ups and bad form? Yeah, that's a competitive wad. You don't judge how well a running back is running based on his sprinting form on the football field because he is using the strategy that will be the most effective in that situation. But if you look at them run a 40-yard dash, they have very good technique. Experience. When they are training, like on a deadlift, on a snatch, on a clean and jerk, CrossFit individual, those who are minded on getting as effective or as good as they can, put a lot of effort optimizing movement patterns, learning to move better. That's one thing that bodybuilders don't do. They're just like, I'm going to pump. Now, you, everything needs to be improved. Every, move better, contract your muscles better. That's another thing you can learn. So learning the big basics, working hard, perfecting movement patterns. These are things that you can learn from CrossFit individuals. The last thing is don't be afraid to do energy systems work. I've known bodybuilders who get out of breath from tying their shoes or walking up a flight of stairs. Heck, I was that bodybuilder at one point. I remember at my heaviest, I was 252 pounds, walking up a flight of stairs, I was out of breath. When I had sexual relations, that's a bad word, with my wife, I had to take a break after five minutes because I was about to die. Now, bodybuilders are afraid oftentimes of doing energy systems work or cardio because they don't want to lose muscle. Well, I've known plenty of CrossFit individuals who do tons of energy systems work, yet they are getting stronger, more muscular, even though that is not their main objective. I, I, I've known football players who do tons of conditioning and are more muscular than the pretend bodybuilders in most gyms. So don't be afraid to be in shape, especially if you're natural. If you're natural, but not taking anabolic steroids, I believe that your body will not allow you to pile on muscle if it doesn't have the cardiovascular system to handle that extra muscle mass. Muscle mass requires blood flow. It requires oxygen. It requires nutrients. If you don't have an efficient cardiovascular system, your body will not be able to sustain that added muscle. So being in good physical condition when you're natural is a prerequisite to being able to maximize your muscle growth. So the other thing you can learn from CrossFit athletes or athletes in general, don't be afraid of doing energy systems work, pushing the prowler, sprinting, even walking. I, I walk one hour every morning. Uh, so these things will actually enhance your physique, enhance your well-being, and will enhance your capacity to build muscle in the long run. Don't be afraid of them.